Welcome back to another Caden Live video tutorial, the free video editing software Caden Live. In this video, we're going to be learning how to shorten a video clip. So maybe you recorded something on your phone and it's like five minutes long and you only want to share a 30 second portion of it. This will be a great way to learn how to do that. And also it's going to teach us and get us familiar with using this interface and using some of the different tools that Caden Live has to offer. So first, we're going to drag in a video clip. I'll go to my downloads. I have this video clip here of this cyclist uh, getting on a bicycle. So I just left click and drag it into my projects bin. And from there, then I can drag it down to my timeline. We can only work with things in our timeline that are already in our project bin. So here we can watch the video right now. If I click play, we can see what the video looks like. We're just kind of monitoring this clip, but um, we're not really looking at our project. So if we were to render out or try and save this video, it would just come out black. Because if we click here on our project monitor down here, we have no video, no audio, nothing happening in our project. We just have something, we just have a clip potentially we can work with. So since we do want to work with this clip, let's drag it into our timeline. So we'll left click, drag it down, and just throw it in the timeline. The timeline starts at zero. If you look, there's this white playhead here that we can actually click. If we click up here in this gray area, we can click and see uh, different parts of this video. So right here, we're looking at the video. If we go back here, we're just seeing black. So we want to make sure our video is at the very beginning of our project. To do that, we'll left click and drag all the way to the start. So now when we go back to zero, zero, we see the very first frame of our video is, is not black anymore like it was. It's actually showing our video, which is good. Then if we hit play, we can play through and watch and see what this looks like. So maybe this video is way too long for us, which really it isn't. It's only about um, less than 10 seconds long. But if we, if we think it's too long, we want to make it shorter, we can cut and make it shorter. To do that, we'll hit the X key. So we hit the X key on our keyboard and we get this nice cutting scissor uh, uh, cursor option. Another way we can do it, I'm going to hit S to go back to what we were before so we can move this around. We can hit the scissor tool here. We just click on it and we get the scissor tool to cut. So I'm going to hit left click on my clip and I'll cut and I'll go back to my selection tool and we can see we have two video clips now. We have one, that's our first one, we have our second one. So that's a way we can, we may, maybe we want to use this one somewhere else, or if we don't, we can just hit the delete key while it's selected, and it'll be gone. So now our video is only half as long. And yeah, so we've just shortened this video basically by half. It's still playing at the same speed. So if we go to play, we can see it's still playing uh, at the same speed that it was. This little blue thing that I just moved, by the way, we see right here, this is the extent of our video. So this blue line shows us how long our video project will be when we go to render. We have an option. We can just render our whole every video clip that's in our timeline <clears throat> as one option. We can also say only render to the extent of this, of this blue bar. So if we want our video to only be 20 seconds long, we would just set it right here at 20 seconds. Then our video would stop when it got to 20 seconds. Um, but we'll use that later. It, it won't really apply to us in this case. I just want to let you know because when you first start, that's, it gets in the way sometimes. When you're trying to move the playhead, you'll accidentally move this blue thing instead. So that's why I bring that up. Also with this video, so we're on video track one. If we want to zoom in and kind of see and make a more detailed cut, we can actually come down here to the bottom right and we'll click and drag this little square and we can it'll resize the way we're looking at this timeline. So it'll kind of zoom in on time. It doesn't change the size of the video actually in our project. It doesn't change how fast it plays or how long the duration of it, but it helps us get a much more granular look now. We can drag and pan through and kind of see frame by frame what's happening in this video clip. Whereas before it was so small, it would have been hard to cut very precisely. So that's how that works. So we'll zoom in here. And sometimes if you have like a two hour video project, you know, you don't want to, uh, you know, a one pixel, a fraction of an inch on your screen will mean the difference between, you know, five minutes of cutting video footage. So you need to zoom in to get a, a very accurate look. Uh, so yeah, so we've cut this, we've cut this video. Let's, let's go through that one more time, how to do that. I'll show you a third way. If we go up to tool and select this razor tool, that's how we get this. It's this turns to the scissor icon and then we can then cut cut, 
cut as many times as we left click it'll cut <clears throat> and create a separate clip and then we we go back to this tool and go to our selection tool and then we can actually select these videos and move them around we can select one and delete it if we want just the delete key so whatever one has a red box around it that's what's selected so now we've really shortened this video a lot and you see this is up here on video track 2 which doesn't matter it'll still play correctly when we play through but for uh, for all intents and purposes oh I was already on play we should just um, keep everything in the same track at least for this video to avoid, avoid confusion so everything's on video track 1 and there's no audio with this video it's completely silent if it had audio it would be playing along with the video and we'll work on we'll do we'll play with audio in the next video as well we can add music if we just bring music in like if I want to bring an audio file in here I can go find some audio on my computer left click and drag it in and we'll drag it down to the timeline and then it will play audio along with our video footage it'll actually play there that sound is the, the audio file playing so I'm going to render this out very quickly in fact I'm just going to drag this audio to here we'll delete this last clip and make a nice short one I'll shrink the audio down to about there and let's render this out so to render to save our video if this is all we want to do is cut our video and then upload it to Facebook or YouTube or somewhere we'll just click on render well first of all I'll show you kind of the wrong way to do it I guess if you go to file save that's just gonna save a Caden live project so we can we can do this we can save under documents we can call it my video and hit save and that'll just save it under it'll be a dot Caden live file which is good if we ever want to come back in and find tweak and replace the audio or make changes to this uh, video project we can do that but that video will not be uh, that that's just going to be a video uh, video project file we can't upload that this to YouTube or or send it email it to a friend or something so to actually render out a video we click on render not save by default uh, well the first thing we want to do is choose out choose our output file so where do we want to render it to click these dots here I'm going to do mine to the desktop and we'll just call it test we'll hit save so the very first thing it has as, as an automatic default is this WebM which will be which would work it's a video format not everyone not all players can play that um, mp4 is a pretty widely known pretty common one it's a good one to use if you're uploading to YouTube or uh, Facebook if it's a final video so M I'll select mp4 but there's all these different options for if we want to e export the audio only we can export different lossless formats we can just export an image sequence but for this we'll just click mp4 choose your output uh, location like we did uh, and then go ahead and hit save and then we'll hit render oh before that I just want to show you right now it's rendering the full project which means it's going to render the extent of all video clips that we've added but that blue thing I was talking about is this selected zone if we if we do selected zone it'll only render the part that we have selected on, in our selected zone that'll make sense more in the future we'll, we'll play with that a little bit so make sure this says full project and click render to file and this is rendering out very quickly because it's only what a two second three second long video and now it's done rendering so we can hit close here we can minimize and go to the desktop and we can see this video that we created that's it just keeps looping over and over again just a short little clip of this guy getting on his bike and a little sound playing in the background so I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope that you found it informative uh, go ahead and like and subscribe check out my other tutorials uh, on Caden live and other software and I'll catch you in the next video